Hi, my name's Robin. Today I'd like to show you how we can take an ordinary vase and give it a facelift with fabric and a little glue. This is my fabric wrapped vase. Let's get started. These are the supplies we're using today. You will need a vase of some kind. Uh, this one cost a dollar from the Dollar Tree. You could also use an old ceramic vase if you want it. I have my fabric in the colors that I like that are cut up into pieces about this big. I have my glue. This is decoupage glue called Mod Podge. You can find it at the Dollar Tree. This little bottle cost about a dollar. Meyer has it in their craft section. Michaels, Joanne Fabric, places like that. I've poured it into my plastic cup for easy cleanup, and I have a little stiff brush here. Finally, I have a little bit of ribbon that'll be for embellishment. And don't forget, very important, you need a, a work surface because uh, this is a little bit messy when we decoupage the fabric onto the, to the glass vase, so you'll want a nice work surface you can just throw away at the end. So to attach the fabric onto your vase, we're going to apply a little bit of glue like this. Choose your color and place it. And then brush it over the top. It looks kind of milky, but it will dry clear when we're finished. So brush, 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 get it a little bit sticky. And you'll want to overlap that probably. Tap that into place and brush it on top. And so far my fingers are actually pretty clean because I'm not touching the glue yet. Brush, brush, brush. Tap it into place and then brush it on top. It's really just as easy as that. One more time here, brush, brush, brush. If you end up with something you, you don't like, you can always pull it off or just put cloth over top of it. A couple of things I wanted to mention is during your gluing, you will want to keep your fabric piles away from the drippy, sticky mess that's going on down here. Um, the other thing is you do not have to cover the entire vase. You might want to leave the top uh, just clear or you might want to just do a band of fabric in the center. I'm going to cover my whole thing, but really you can make up your own rules on your design. what I have so far. I'm going to kind of rotate it and look for wrinkles and places that need to be tacked down a little bit. You can see it's not dripping with goo. Doesn't need to be dripping. But when I get into these smaller areas around the neck of my vase and the lip, I'll want to trim down my, my pieces and a little bit smaller so that they don't wrinkle as I'm bending around corners um, and it gives me a little bit more chance to have variety of colors throughout. So I think I'm finished. But I am going to take one last look to make sure everything's stuck and I didn't miss any spots. It looks like there's a little problem up in here. You might remember that I started from the bottom right along the edge and I moved up all the way to the top and ended right along the edge. Now I'm going to let it dry. 
And we'll take a look at it when it's all finished. This is my finished vase, completely dry now. It took maybe about an hour to dry. And from start to finish, including drying time, took about two hours for me to create. I hope you enjoy this activity. Happy creating.